for sports cards. We have another new 2024 Series 2 product to take a look at. We finally got our Fanatics boxes in the mail. I ordered six of them. Uh, I'm going to order three to, or open three tonight. And um, we're going to see what we get out of these three, and then we'll do the other three in a separate video. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good one. So these are supposed to be more loaded than the other blaster boxes, which we opened. We got a good short print parallel um, out of those, but these have two more packs. Whoops, and each pack has a. Um, Each pack has an aqua parallel in it, so you have nine chances in each one to get a good rookie on the aqua parallel. That also means they, I would assume they increased the print run of the aqua parallels. I'm not really sure. I mean, they decreased everything, but, um, you know, I'm not really sure how common that makes them or not. Either way, I think they're really cool parallels and. We're just going to get into it, see if we can get anything cool out of it. As with Series 1, you can get um, memorabilia redemptions, things like that. We're still looking for the fantasy favorites, the city, the city, around the horn, all-star, star of, stars of MLB, which I don't know why they put those as like a desirable set, but the heavy lumber, we're always looking for those. We pulled one out of a jumbo box. Super cool cards, man. Um, Austin Riley on mine. It was uh, it was pretty sweet. So let's move those out of the way. And just get into it here. Last week, we were opening our jumbos still, but this week we're closer to 4th of July, so tell me what you guys have going on for 4th of July, if anybody's doing anything fun. Uh, we have dogs, so we tend to just hang out at home because they lose their absolute, you know, just lose their minds. And uh, so we got Jesus Sanchez on the Aqua. See, I like those. I think those are cool looking. And then they keep putting this trash and everything. So yeah, I use, we're close enough to one of the displays. I usually just end up on the roof smoking a cigar. I can watch the neighborhood fireworks and put it in. It's also super hot here in Phoenix, so we'll see what happens. Marcus Semien on the Aqua. If you enjoy my videos, please drop me a like and a subscribe, leave a comment about your 4th of July plans. Um, it's always interesting to hear what people do, but cool, we got another one of the women in baseball inserts there. That's pretty cool, I like those. All-Star Matt Olson, Jordan Adams on the Aqua. I'm not going to sleeve anything right now just for the sake of time. Also, let me know if you pulled any of the cool um, short print 
inserts out of the other um, out of the other blasters, like any of the cool um, the hot dogs or umbrellas or anything like that. I pulled one of the umbrella parallels of a, I think it was a Detroit Tiger and a hot dog parallel. So if you go back and watch my blaster video, you'll see those. I think the umbrellas were out of 50. Ready on the cover in the field. Will Smith on the aqua. Man, nine packs seems like a lot. It's all right though, we'll take it. Another rainbow, nope, this one's at a 9.99, so it'll be the blue shimmer. Those are cool looking. Ugh, I forgot to turn this light on again. There we go. Let's see, now we can really see that blue shimmer. Yeah. There we go. I didn't plan on sleeving anything right now, so I didn't bring sleeves with me. If we pull anything massive, I'll go get a sleeve or two. Gunner on the throwback. Bryce Jarvis, there we go. And all my D-backs rookies on the parallels. Might chase the rainbow for the D-backs rookies. Oh, there's Shota. And a home run challenge for Julio. Let me know if, um, do you guys like the Home Run Challenge cards? I feel like I hear some people online don't like them or don't fill them out. Um, I guess they don't want to take the time or the what you get isn't valuable enough. This is the first year that I've really collected cards, so I'm not 100% sure. If I like them yet or not, I guess. I've got a stack of them I still need to fill out. Oh, well, there was the first blaster. That one was uh, a little uneventful there. We did get a numbered parallel. And a rookie on the aqua. So I won't call it a, a bust up by any means. Marte is still in AAA struggling. Oh, we got a CJ Stroud. Let's play ball. Heck yeah. That's the second one of those I've pulled, too. That's awesome. what these look like. Albert Pujols, Tristan Casas, I have seen that people are pulling the Jackson uh, short prints, any of the Jacksons I guess, out of retail so that gives me hope for retail for sure. Um, I haven't seen any out of the retail that I've pulled, but I mean, mine is a small sample size compared to everyone else. So I'm just glad to see that they do come out of here. The opportunity is there. 
I didn't even pull one of any of the Jacksons out of an entire case of hobby, so they are truly short printed, that's for sure. Zawinski. our first retail blue Bryce Jarvis again heck yeah and Sawyer Gibson Long two rookies all right I'm just gonna pull the rainbow I'm not even gonna need to buy them And there's another Women in Baseball. Veronica Alvarez. I'm not sure if I have this one yet or not. I know I have the other one that we pulled, the D-backs. The D-backs one. That's a set. I'm definitely going to try to collect the whole thing. I think that's a pretty cool showcase. Chrome. Chrome Stars of MLB. And Blake Sable on the Aqua. All right. Patrick Bailey. Veneziano on the Aqua Rookie. We'll take that. All right, last pack of the second blaster. Let's see. Going to get anything numbered out of this blaster at all? foil of Travis Darno. So that one was kind of a bust. We did get the CJ Stroud and the Retail Blue, so technically we got all our hits, but still kind of lame not to get anything numbered at all. Third and final box of this rip. Shadow on the All Stars, Josh Rojas. So I think by far the jumbos are the best. Um, just number of, uh, for me, I mean, if you want, oh, there's Noelvi on the Aqua and Logan Gilbert on that beautiful blue shimmer. Um, if you want autos, if you want relics, things like that, those are definitely the ways, the way to go. So. You know, money back, definitely more of a chance out of the hobby format, for sure. Uh, if you're just looking for, you know, variations and you're ripping on a budget or whatever, you can only afford to buy a couple every now and then, and you just want to try and open some packs and see what you get, I mean, these are the way to go. You got nine packs in each one. 
you can still pull all the stuff. They're much less common, obviously, but definitely there still. And I think you can still pull signatures and stuff out of, out of these. It's just much less likely. Prince Fielder. That's a cool one. Thunderberg. Smiley, Nick Madrigal, only a few packs left here. Around the Horn, DJ Stewart, and Stars of the MLB. Second to last pack. Tuve, JD Martinez. Alright, last pack here of these three of the six. Hopefully, something saves us here. Not really. Um, but I mean, we got a lot. Of, I mean, we got a lot of parallels. We got a lot of inserts. I should be keeping these down there. We got a couple of the short print inserts. So overall, did we get what was expected out of these? Yep. We got our. We got our hits, we got a couple of the harder to get inserts, we got a couple numbered cards, and we got a bunch of aquas, we got a couple diamondback rookies on the parallel. Um, so that's what you can kind of expect out of these. It's hard to hit any of those, you know, case hit type things, but uh, overall fun rip. I mean, I enjoy these Fanatics boxes. I think they're great for the price point. So I suggest, I, I would suggest buying them if you just enjoy ripping, um, if you just enjoy ripping cards. These are a great one. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next one for the other three boxes that I've got. And we'll see if we can get some more um, Diamondbacks on the parallels. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.